Okay, hi everybody. So today we're going to be talking about classes and objects. And in particular, we're going to be looking at uh, templates versus instances or plans versus actual implementations. Okay, so if you want to look up a little bit more about what this is, uh, there's the uh, begin, beginning Java 8 Fundamentals book, chapter 6, uh, covers some basics about classes and objects. All right, so what are classes? Well, classes are also generally referred to as templates. So we've been talking in this particular course about classes, but in the more general context, uh, you'll hear it named as templates, maybe in other languages as well. So in Java, you use a class to define a template that enumerates attributes that are common to a set of entities of interest. Oof, that's a that's a big, big thing here. We'll, we'll talk about that um, sort of in more detail as, as we go along. But basically, the class is a plan. Okay, so a template is a plan that um, has characteristics and and, and we, we um, have different characteristics for different versions of the implementations of those plans. That's what we're basically talking about here. So for instance, we have a plan here for a person and a person, see it says public class person. So the template or the plan is for a person. We will be creating objects of this type, okay, based on this plan, and this, um, th this, these objects will have age and nationality and weight and height. These are attributes, okay, characteristics. Now, you could also also have something called a not like a point. Here's another type of 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 thing that we could have, okay, and so we would have to plan it out ahead of time, all right, because as good engineers we plan things ahead of time. So we're going to have an object. It will be point-like in nature, but we have to create a plan for how that object will be created and, and, and work. And so we have this plan called a class, a template, okay, called point, and it has two characteristics, okay, two, two sort of um, variables that are interesting inside of it. One is a, um, a double precision floating point uh, variable called x, and another one is a double precision floating point variable called y. Okay, so these are some of the attributes associated with person and point plans. Okay, so what are plans? Well, plans are, we've seen these before, okay, or you may have, might have heard of these things before. Classes are plans. We can also think of them as blueprints. We'll call them templates, we'll call them classes, we'll call them plans. In this particular case, here's an example. When you um, want to build a house, Okay, well, before you have to have a plan for that house. And, and that plan is, is literally written, or back in the day, was written on a blue piece of paper. And so we called it a blueprint. And it, you'd roll it out and, and you'd say, well, you have to build the roof this way and you have to build the foundations that way. And then you would actually build it. So the class, the blueprint, isn't the actual object. It's not the actual instantiation or implementation of the object. It is the plan behind the object. You create the object after you have the plan. The object, this thing right over here, okay, is what comes about as having a good plan. And the and it's only supposed to have the characteristics that are defined in the plan. Otherwise, you've built it wrong. Um, so, so the object is the implementation of the plan, of the blueprint, of the class. So the class is the start. The object is the result we can think of it in terms of what goes on with people. So you could have a, a class or a template or a plan uh, or a model for, for how a person should be. And then you have variations on this plan that create actual real objects, okay? Like a real person. A real person would be an instance of the plan. The real person is an object. It is an instantiation of the template. It is an instantiation of the plan. It's an instantiation of the class. Okay, so the object comes from the class. The object is what we work with. The class is what gives us the plan for the thing that we're going to work with. Now, the person could look like this. The, the person could have a certain height, could have a certain weight, could have a certain shape. Okay, it could have other characteristics as well that might be a little bit more hidden and sort of under the, the hood, as it were. Okay, sometimes you see them and sometimes you don't, but they, they define elements of that object. So for instance, here's another kind of object that could come from the same plan. 
In this case, the 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 uh, uh, the object has different kinds of hair, has different kinds of inner structures, has uh, a, a different way of walking. Okay, it's still that object, that instance of the plan, still comes from the same plan, but different characteristics, different parameters came together to create, to direct the the creation of the object that will be used. Okay, so we can have a, one plan that can be parameterized that can have different characteristics in it that will end up resulting in completely different objects okay but they can work in very similar ways so templates and instances classes and objects a person for instance is a being such as a human and has certain attributes and behaviors that constitute personhood a person ages and grows uh, based on their heights and their weights okay so these actions as well as these um, these descriptors that go along with these these objects okay so a template called person defines common things so what are these common things we could have common attributes like age weight and height okay the values for those could be different from one object to another but all of them are going to have a certain age all of them are going to have a certain weight all of them are going to have a certain height they can have these objects when they're created can have different behaviors okay and those behaviors can go in different directions so one can get older in different ways but they'll both get older okay the the people that are instances of those plans will both get older okay they'll both gain weight but maybe they'll lose weight too or they'll gain weight in different ways okay Th these behaviors are verbs they're actions they're different than the the descriptors, the attributes, which are also thought of as like nouns, okay, those variables that we have. So methods, behaviors, nouns, actions, variables. All right. So persons share common attributes and behaviors. Each person possesses an age, weight, and a height. Each person's age, weight, and height can be distinct. They can also be the same. Okay, so here's a person the person is an object okay um, this object is called jim in this particular case and jim the object is 50 years old is 1.8 meters tall and is heavy to the extent of 80 kilograms but we can have another object from the same plan and and give it a different name and this one would be jonathan and jonathan is 65 years old is 1.73 meters tall 70 kilograms okay in weight now they came from the same plan. They have very common and, and similar attributes and they can behave in similar ways, okay? But they are distinct objects and they can interact with one another. So each person, depending on specific values of their attributes, can exhibit distinct behaviors. So when Jim gets older, okay, Jim was originally 50 years old. When it comes time to updating Jim's uh, age, Jim isn't going to magically become 32. Jim will go from 50 to 51. There's certain rules for how those actions occur. When Jonathan gets older, Jonathan will become 66, not 62, as much as Jonathan would like to. Jonathan will go from 65 to 66 because there will be behaviors, methods inside of the object that will di dictate how that works. Okay. So another, you can combine these things together. So Jim's BMI, based on Jim's height and weight, could be based on, on an equation like 80 divided by 1.8 squared. Okay, Jonathan, on the other hand, would be 90 div divided by 1.73 squared. So you can combine these variables together to define other characteristics of the objects. Now, a template, a class, a plan, a blueprint, defines what's shared by a set of related entities, okay, persons. So they have common attributes, age, weight, height, uh, they have behaviors that can be very similar as well and one can have a more distinct behavior than the other but they're, they're going to be related okay so they can get they get older they get they lose or grow uh, or gain weight and they can grow taller or shorter each template each plan each class isn't good all by itself it needs to be made into something it needs to be instantiated into objects into multiple instances or multiple objects okay so instances of classes are called objects so a person be, be uh, the plan becomes jim the object a person the plan becomes jonathan the object
okay? Jonathan is an instantiation of the plan person. Jim is an instance, okay, of the plan person. Each instance may have specific values for attributes. Each person uh, has an instance, um, uh, sorry, each person instance has an age. So 50 years old, 50 for Jim, 65 for Jonathan, when it is created, okay, when we are willing to look at it. So therefore, instances of the same template may exhibit distinct uh, and so, and they can also distinct, they can have distinct behavior, okay? So as the person gets the person class, the person plan, okay, its instance becomes older, it has to follow certain behaviors, certain rules for how that happens, okay? So Jim has to go from 50 to 51. Jonathan has to go from 65 to 66, all right? So that's, uh, you know, think of it in terms of examples of, of, uh, of people. Let's take a look at another example right here. So points on a two-dimensional plane identified by their sign distances from the X and Y uh, zero points or axes, okay? So a point may, get, be, uh, may move arbitrarily towards any direction on the plane. Given two points, we are interested in knowing the distance between those two points, okay? So this is something that you might have seen in like a math class or geometry class before, okay? So a template called point, a plan called point, defines common things common attributes, so the positions X and Y, okay, those are the nouns here, and then uh, common behaviors, the verbs, the actions, uh, the methods, the functions, okay, so behaviors moving up, um, moving down, getting the distance from, etc., okay, those are, those are actions that can be taken. The points share common attributes and behavior. Each point possesses an X coordinate and a Y coordinate, those nouns, okay. Each point's location can be distinct. So for instance, if we have the instantiation of the class point, and we call that instance P1, so the object is called P1, it can be located at uh, x equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. Another object, P2, using the exact same plan, can be located um, at points negative 4 and negative 3, location at negative, three, negative 4 and negative 3. So x is negative 4 and y is negative 3. So each point, depending on specific uh, values of their attributes, that is locations, uh, can exhibit distinct behaviors. So when object P1, which is an instance of point, the class, the template, the blueprint, when the object P1 moves up for one unit, remember that it started at 3 and 4, right? It will end up being at 3 and 5. So x is equal to 3, y is equal to 5. When object P2 moves up one unit, it will end up not at negative 4 and negative 3. So not at uh, x is equal to negative 4 and y is equal to negative 3, but now will end up at x is negative 4 and y is negative 2. And at that point, we can, we can have another method, another action kick in, and we can calculate the distance from the origin, right? So x equals 0 and y is equal to 0. That's what the origin is. So P1, the object, its distance from the origin will be based on its internal variables, okay, x and y. So then that equation kicks in right there, right? And you've seen that before in, in, in a math class, right? So then P2's distance from the origin, so object P2, uses the negative 4, which was right here, and the negative 2, which is right here, so x and y. And we did the square root of the square of negative 4 and the square of negative 2 added together. Okay, and that would give us the distance from the origin. Now, a template, that is a class or a plan or a blueprint, defines what's shared by a set um, of related entities. Okay, 2D points. So we can have common attributes, X and Y. We can have common behaviors, the actions of moving left or moving up or right or left, you know, down, etc. Each template may be instantiated okay, into, or creating instances of, so the plan can beget um, different objects, these multiple instances. So we have the plan called point. It allows us to create an object called P1. The same plan, P1, can allow us to have an object called P2. Each instance may have specific values for the attributes. So each point instance has an age, uh, sorry, each point instance doesn't have an H, it has a position. Okay, P1, the object P1 is located at X equal to 3 and X equal to, or Y is equal to 4. P2 is negative 3 and negative 4. So X is negative 3 and Y is negative 4. 
So therefore, instances of the same template may exi exhibit distinct behaviors based on these positions. So we can move up. So the plan allows for the instance, the object, to move up. So we can go for object P1, which was at 3 and 3, and it can move up to 3 and 4, using the action that allows movement in the Y direction. Then we have P2, another object, and it can move from negative 3, so X equal to negative 3, and Y is equal to negative 4, and then it can move up only as defined by the behaviors that are permitted for that point. So in this case, it would go from negative 3 to negative, uh, sorry, from x equal to negative 3 and y is equal to negative 4 to x equal to negative 3 and y is equal to negative 3. All right. So classes are referred to as templates. Okay. So in Java, you use a class to define a template that enumerates attributes that are common to a set of, of, of entities of interest. Basically, this is what we see here. Again, public class. Okay, this is setting up the plan here. The class or the plan is called person. It has ages, it has nationalities, weights, and heights. You have a point, which is another plan. It is allowed to have two uh, variables as well, x and y. All right, so classes and are basically referred to as templates or plans. And there you have it, little intro to what these plans are and how uh, they relate to these concepts called objects. Mm -hmm.